Good morning, my dear. Po, 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 po. I have some good news. I managed to convince a doctor from out of town to come in for a visit. She's going to take a look at you and make sure that everything is all right. Oh, of course. I'm certain that your injuries are mild, but we can't be too careful, you know. I'm not about to leave your health to chance. Oh, well, of course, we do have a local doctor, but most yokai doctors are only really know how to treat yokai. This doctor, on the other hand, has experience with humans. She's by far the most qualified person I could find to treat you. Oh, well, I do have a fair bit of influence in the yokai realm. Most yokai are ancient and mostly forgotten. I'm actually fairly old for a yokai myself, but I was only able to just start interacting with the human world recently. There are all sorts of humans talking about me and spreading my story because of that. And that kind of thing makes a yokai much, much more powerful. So when I call for a doctor, she'll come running. Even if she lives very, very far away. That's just one more reason why you're so lucky that you caught my eye, my dear. <clears throat> Am I interrupting something? Is now a good time? Oh, doctor, you're here. Yes, please come in. Your patient is right here. So it's true, then. It really is another human. I'm starting to worry that humans connecting with the supernatural is going to become a common thing again. That's bound to be nothing but trouble. Oh, how can you say that? Look at this precious little face. Does that look like trouble to you? <sighs> if you say so. All right, then. Let's take a look at you, human. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. These wounds seem very superficial. Nothing bed rest can't fix. But I do want to be... I do want to make a more thorough checkup, though, just to be safe. I'm going to listen to your lungs for a moment. Can you breathe in deep for me? Good. And exhale. One more time, please. Inhale. And exhale. And now for your heartbeat. Okay, everything is normal so far. You seem to be healthy aside from your injuries. There is one more test I would like to perform. I'm going to ch check your spiritual aura. It's nothing complicated, just stay there. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of this powder on you, and... Mm, I was afraid of that. Oh, doctor, is something wrong? Are human auras supposed to flicker like that? Most definitely not. I'm afraid your human is dying. Uh, dying? How? What's going on? You said they were healthy. This is why it was a good thing you called me. Physically, they're just fine. But the circumstances surrounding their arrival in this yokai realm are a serious problem. You don't mean... It has to do with me bringing them here. I'm afraid so. When a yokai... 
and especially one like yourself, who has human origins, takes a human to the yokai realm, it damages the human's connection to the human world. And along with the damaged connection to the human world comes a strain of connection between the human spirit and their body. If nothing is done, they'll become a spirit themselves. Oh. Oh. I forgot about that for a moment. That's right. When a human dies, they just become a spirit. I mean, that might not be so bad. I'm powerful enough to keep them from passing on to the afterlife, so they could just stay with me. I would be careful about what you say in front of the human, even if they don't cease to exist when they die. It's still a very frightening concept. Uh, of course, of course. But, well, my dear, why don't we discuss this? You know, I'm a spirit myself. It's really not so bad. In fact, there are all sorts of upsides to being a spirit. You get access to all sorts of new powers. It's far harder for you to get hurt. And you can wander around the human world invisibly. It would be a lot of fun. I hate to interrupt, but there's something here you don't realize. When a human becomes a spirit, their identity fractures. They lose parts of what makes them, well, them. It's impossible to know ahead of time how badly they'll be affected, but there are all sorts of possible side effects. Memory loss, changes in personality. In the worst case, they could become a monster. I... oh... well... We can't have that. Is there anything we can do, Doctor? I... I wouldn't... have to send them back to the human world, would I? At that point, I would almost rather risk the personality fracture and hope they stay mostly the same rather than lose them forever. I would strongly advise against that, but fortunately I do have a cure. We need to create a totem, something that will be a link to the human world, so as long as the totem stays with them, they'll be able to keep that link strong. Oh, that's wonderful. How do we make one? Well, we need something that will remind them of the human world. You don't happen to have anything like that, do you, human? No, it needs to be something emotional, something with memories attached to it. It should feel important, like there's nothing in the world that can replace it. I'm afraid of how suddenly you were taken to the yokai realm. You might not have something like that on hand, but... Oh, a picture! Let's see! Who is this? I did not realize you had something like that with you. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I don't like the idea of you carrying around a picture of somebody other than me, my dear. I'm supposed to be the most important person in your life, after all. I'm afraid you'll have to make a choice. If they don't keep the picture, and if they don't continue to see the person it depicts as someone very important, then they won't have any life at all. No life at all. You get it? Because they'll... Yes, because they would die. Weren't you the one talking about being delicate, about the subject of death? 
a moment ago. Well, yes, you're right. Anyway, mm. the decision is really up to them, but I think you should try to come to terms with this. I, I do understand what you're trying to say, but accepting that there's going to be somebody else, another human, no less, that's important to them is a lot to ask. I brought them here because I'm certain that they'll be happiest with me. My hope was that they would forget all about their old life and settle into a wonderful, blissful, love-filled new life with me. But now you're saying that it's impossible if they have to stay attached to their old life then then what was even the point of me bringing them home with me this will never be their home if that's the case and where does that leave me i'm a spirit you know to be as powerful as i am I need to stay committed to a singular purpose. Without that, I would eventually just fade into the afterlife. And my purpose has always been to find my true love and make them mine. Is that just impossible then? Will they never truly be mine? How am I supposed to carry on, then, if I can't do the one thing that's keeping me tethered to the world of the living? Well, that's something you're going to have to decide for yourself. Maybe you need to reconsider what it means for someone to be yours. Hmm, I, oh dear, I suppose if it's for my true love, then I have no choice but to try. I suppose that will have to do. Now, let's make this totem. Hmm, there we go. That should do it. Okay, human. This picture is now a totem. But listen carefully. I haven't healed the damage that was caused by your separation from the human world. I've just stopped it from getting worse. So as long as you have that totem, you'll be fine. But any time it leaves your general vicinity, you'll start to fade. I'm afraid there's no fixing this. You could return to the human world, but it would just have the same effect as this totem. And if you were pulled away again, you most likely wouldn't survive. All that being said, life in the yokai realm is possible for you now. I hope things go smoothly for you from now on. Thank you for calling me again. I will send you my bill later. Thank you, doctor. I am so grateful that you helped us avoid a disaster. Hmm. Well, that was far more stressful than I was expecting. But I suppose all's well that ends well. Now that we have that complication out of the way, our life together can truly begin. I promise you, I'll find a way to make this work out perfectly for the both of us. I love you, my dearest. Po, 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 po.